So this is a brief look at the DOM judge submission process uh, ahead of the intercollegiate programming competition. Uh, I'm logged in here to my team or individual DOM judge submission page and as you can see uh, I already have several submissions, six of them in fact, uh, that we've done previously. Those are listed here and also here along the top by uh, problem number. So all I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate the submission process for you. So if you look here in the submission section, you'll see a select file button, a problem drop down, and a language drop down, and then a submit button. So uh, the first thing we do is select a file. Uh, once we do that, it's going to list all of the uh, my current uh, potential files for submission. So I'll just go ahead and choose one of these. I'll choose this test submission text file. It'll put that file name here. I'll say I'm going to submit that for problem four. And that's going to be in the Java programming language. Now I'm going to click the submit button and we can watch what happens here under problem four when I submit this. Uh, go ahead and confirm. Uh, the the page is, is pretty slow, so you have to be patient with it. Hopefully it won't take more than a few seconds here uh, for the server to accept the submission. And there it is. Uh, the, the most recent submission. You can see the count here is incremented to two. And then when I'm done with that, I can go ahead and click this red X and that takes me back to the submission page uh, where we can we can do another one if we want to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate one more thing here. Uh, don't forget that Dom Judge is Linux based software. So not a big fan of spaces and file names. If I choose a file uh, that has a space in it as opposed to an underscore or just characters and then uh, choose a problem and try to submit that, uh, Dom Judge is going to throw an error as you'll see here in a moment. Um, it says illegal file name, so not a terrible error message I guess, but still uh, doesn't tell us exactly what the problem is and the problem in this case is this space in the file name. So just make sure you don't use spaces in your file names when you're submitting. And uh, other than that, I think the submission page here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.